Well, much of the country is dealing with a cold snap right now, and that includes us here in New England. If you haven't noticed, and with those cold temperatures, electric vehicle drivers could encounter problems with their batteries. NBC 10's Jericho Tran joining us live from Newton with what you need to know. Jericho. Oh, I've definitely noticed it's cold out here, and so have these drivers. You can see there's quite a few of them out here, and some of the drivers we spoke with, they say that they are noticing that it's taking a little longer for their cars to charge, and experts say that this is directly impacted by the weather. So anytime it's this cold, it always takes, let's say, an extra 20 or 30 minutes longer than it normally would. Ryan McMullen's average 30-minute wait to charge his car increased to 50 minutes over the last few days. It's slower to begin with, but when it's this cold, it's always significantly worse. He's just one of several electric vehicle drivers here today experiencing long wait times over at the Newton Service Plaza. The battery is, is going to be affected by the cold, and you got to live with it. With temperatures under 30 degrees, Degrees, electric vehicle batteries need time to warm up before charging. If your EV is stone cold, it was left outside overnight, and you plug it in, it may not charge right away because it needs to get those batteries up to temperature. The cold weather also reduces the driving range, draining the battery faster. Your range loss is anywhere from about 20 to 40 percent in the worst case scenarios. That's because they're driving on the highway, they've got the heat on, and maybe the batteries are cold as well. And for drivers using gas-powered vehicles, dead batteries are also a possibility. Cold weather shrinks everything, it slows everything down inside the battery. Bobby Hadea, the owner of Bobby's Auto Service, says batteries can be affected in extreme heat and cold, primarily during the hot summer and cold winter months. So you want to make sure that the battery is, is clean, there's no corrosion around the terminals anywhere. Um, that'll, draw, that'll draw power out of the battery. All right, so for drivers of electric vehicles, AAA recommends leaving them plugged in overnight, obviously, to keep the battery charged, but to also keep that battery warm. I actually just spoke to a driver out here, and he says that he left his battery or he left his car on, and that actually did help his battery charge in a good amount of time. So I guess the name of the game here is just keeping that car warm. That's the very latest here in Newton, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.